Hello everyone, my name is Tatiana Losev. And I am Justin Rayner. We'll be co-presenting on behalf of our co-authors, Sheila Carpendale and Melanie Torrey, on our paper called Embracing Disciplinary Diversity in Visualization. What is disciplinary diversity? We use this term to refer to the many different approaches to research and design that include different epistemic and practical perspectives to inquiry. In our paper, we celebrate the disciplinary diversity. And our main message is to welcome and encourage cross-disciplinary research collaborations, inspire exploration of unfamiliar approaches, inspire discussions, and to share resources about the different ways of doing data visualization research. Especially because data visualization as a field is diverse. For example, we as the authors are from fine arts, nursing, design, biology, computer science, and we were inspired by a workshop held at Northeastern University where 25 data visualization researchers discussed the myriad of ways to approach problems in our field and that there are many ways to address research questions. So in our paper, we outline some examples of different research approaches in data visualization. There's different lenses in research, but there are many more. However, we acknowledge that the number of approaches represented in data visualization forums is limited. But why does this matter? Disciplinary diversity shows us that there's more than one way to look at visualization research. And the few approaches that are represented may limit the scope of inquiry and knowledge about the possibilities of using data visualization in all kinds of contexts. In our paper, you can read about how different methodologies offer distinct types of contributions. We see that more perspectives inform how to address problems in different ways to better understand complex relationships. So embracing this diversity has the potential to strengthen and broaden the viz community with more perspectives, more ideas, more context, and expand our capacity to create and co-create new knowledge as a research community. So we asked, are there roadblocks or practices that prevent disciplinary diversity? How can we review, categorize, and critique research in meaningful and constructive ways? How can we avoid conformity and allow new ideas and approaches? How can we accept and understand these new approaches and leverage the diversity that exists and at the same time maintain research rigor? These questions prompted some insights and recommendations. First, we recommend focusing less on paper types. Paper types, as most of us know, are broad focus areas that different venues use to categorize paper submissions. The intent of paper types was initially beneficial in that it focused researchers on various topics and allowed for logical groupings of different research works. The unintended consequence of paper types over the long term, however, is that it has the potential to act as a sort of lens or frame of reference to judge research quality. We all know what a design study looks like, for example, but if we look at a particular research work through the lens of a design study, we may miss other potential research benefits and contributions. Second, we want to encourage more qualitative studies. There are many very interesting research avenues and contributions that are possible and that we can unlock with considering more qualitative works. But these studies tend to be more difficult to publish. We recommend looking beyond our common metrics for what constitutes publishability and to think about other ways to assess research quality. Third, we recommend allowing the reporting of research failures as well as successes. Studies that can give us lessons learned and that possibly try a different or uncommon approach to a problem in order to report on what worked and what didn't could be very beneficial to the community. We want researchers to not be afraid to try new approaches and methodologies, and we want to encourage that channel of work even if the end result wasn't successful. Fourth, as a community, we recommend considering more research contribution types. This is a similar point to focusing less on paper types. Just like with paper types, we can often and sometimes unintentionally 
cage the outputs of our research by trying to conform to particular contribution types as well. What our work in this area has shown us is that different approaches and methodologies to problems produce many different contributions. By looking at problems in different ways, we can potentially unlock many different types of contributions that haven't been previously considered. Fifth, we want to encourage embracing unfamiliar and unusual methodologies. Allowing people to take different or unconventional approaches that don't necessarily conform to traditional or past approaches can help and inspire researchers to think about visualization problems and research differently and in new and creative ways. We feel that this could not only open up more research avenues and incorporate new cross-disciplinary collaborations, but also strengthen and enrich our own research foundation. Sixth, we recommend including reviewers from other disciplines. One of the points that was brought up in this work was that there is absolute validity in approaches used by other disciplines that we can and should consider. Having reviewers from other disciplines can help strengthen our assessments of what rigor and research quality may look like in other domains and subsequently increase our inclusivity within our community. The visualization community is inherently diverse because of the spectrum of different disciplines and domains that we support. Disciplinary diversity shows that there is more than one way to look at visualization research and that we benefit as a community by including different disciplinary approaches to our research. With all of that said, let's welcome disciplinary diversity. Let's inspire exploration and different ways of approaching visualization research. Let's branch out and consider interdisciplinary methods that we can adopt and incorporate. Let's discuss our results of exploration and share resources to equip future researchers as well. We end our presentation with a call to action. Please join us. Our voices alone are not enough, and we all have a role in this endeavor. As researchers, we want to try new and unfamiliar approaches and to collaborate with researchers and practitioners from many different disciplines and domains. As advisors, we want to encourage researchers to discover and try new approaches to visualization research. And as reviewers, we want to review and accept more works that take unconventional approaches. Please get in touch with us to share any ideas or examples of successes in this area. And thank you so much for listening to our presentation.